Hey guys, we're going to do an updated tour of the warehouse at Fanimation. So let's go on ahead in. First, when you enter in this way, you get to the custom van area. We'll talk about that in a minute. First things first, a lot of people like to uh, <clears throat> look at or try out this can arm that's installed over that. So we're going to do that first so I can show you the other stuff while it's spinning down since the spin down takes a while. So the control for it is here. Let's turn it on low. And uh, people have asked me why are there can arms in the Fanimation warehouse. Well, at the time Fanimation didn't make industrial fans. I'm going to turn it a quarter of a turn to medium low. Do I show you the control? There it is. So the Vice President of Operations, Ed Frampton, says he literally picked up an industrial supply catalog and just picked a fan at random. <clears throat> I thought that was pretty funny, given I'm sure he'd hate if his customers picked fans at random. He wants them to pick the best fans with their fanimation. Turn a quarter of a turn to medium high. That's the air compressor discharging. And then high. It's a little noisy. At this height, you'd almost think a straight bladed fan would be better. I'm not sure why they picked a curved bladed fan for here. The other ones in the warehouse are straight. I think there's three or four others. There used to be five others. I'm not sure how many they removed when they remodeled the warehouse. I feel some air from it though. Okay, so while that's spinning down, here is the uh, custom fan building area. This was Mario's workstation before he retired. He worked here since it, since this place opened, I think. And uh, Ray took over. And uh, a lot of tools, drill press, saw, other saws, grindstone, wire brush. There's some uh, Bourbon Street pulleys, workbench. There's the fan, by the way. Cabinets full of parts, capacitors and stuff in there. Tools, wire. I don't even know what this big thing is. I've looked, walked past this every day and never even noticed it was here before. Something, wow. That's cool. I don't know what it is, though. This is a big giant fan that Tom bought for the museum. He likes anything that's a fan, no matter how random. This is the motor for it. It runs on compressed air. That's the blade. Still spinning down. And, uh, yeah, a lot of <clears throat> great tools back here. This is where they uh, balance the Enigmas, I believe. Here's the uh, main uh, power station. More parts. More parts. I raid these parts spins when I need screws and capacitors and things. There's the storage room outside the museum. There's the air compressor. We're still spinning down over there. So we'll move over here. We'll look back at it. <clears throat> Here's another station. I'm not sure exactly what they do to Enigmas here. They do something to them. Palisade testing station. Okay, that can arm is still there. I know they removed one of them. How's this one doing? Still spinning down. Well, we're going to move on. We got a big tour. So. Aisle after aisle after aisle of beautiful Fanimation products. 
the lights are now on motion sensors, if you haven't noticed. Let's take a look at this can arm here. I know you guys, at least some of you guys, really like the can arms. Let's see, the control for it used to be right here. Low. Medium low. These really don't do much until you get them to high. <coughs> Medium high. So the aisles in the warehouse are much narrower. Not sure if you can tell. I guess we'll look at that while it's spinning down. I feel some air from it now. Let's turn it to high. Let me get up the speed. The aisles are much narrower in the warehouse. There's no big, huge aisle in the center the way they used to be. Uh, apparently, it's a lot more efficient, both in terms of space and finding what you need. Everybody's very pleased with it. Oh, I don't feel quite... Okay, directly underneath it, I feel some air. Let's turn it off. <coughs> While it spins down, let's go look over here. <coughs> Piles of stuff. This is the guy whose job it is to process the returns. What's his name? Logan. It doesn't... I don't remember Logan, but okay. Maybe that is Logan. So this is how much scrap bin fills up in a week, and I've been told this was a light week. There's a bronze Beckwith, a couple Zonix, a couple wind points, a lot of mounting brackets. I wish I would have known those mounting brackets were there. I've been using lots of mounting brackets. Of course, I don't know what's wrong with those mounting brackets, so maybe there's a reason they're not to be used. Same mounting brackets again. And, uh... Here's some random stuff there. You can see the old uh, Bourbon Streets or whatever they were called. So they had a different name back then. Tom told me what it was now. I can't remember it. So. And uh, down this way. I don't know if I've ever taken you down this way before. Lots of blades here. I don't know what that is. Air shadows, love those. Sure is dark when you look through it this way. Look at that. I got stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff. They have an aisle you can walk under. That's pretty impressive. A lot more efficient. So over here is where John Frampton works. I believe he does something with the palm leaf blades. They come partially made and he finishes making them or something. I'm not sure. But here's his station. You can see that's about the right size for a palm leaf blade. And, uh... I didn't know TPI made a uh, big fans blade. Let's see if this is plugged in. Power it on. Yep. Is that high? That's pretty powerful. Low. Off. Cool. Here are the back offices for the warehouse and bathrooms. There's even a shower back here. I've talked about rather than getting a hotel sleeping at Fanimation while I'm here and just showering here, so maybe one of these days I'll do it. Okay, we'll let that spin down as much as I'm going to. Remember I told you they'd removed one 
can arm, there it is. Why it's sitting here, I don't know, but that's where it's sitting. The down rod's about as tall as I am. What's in here? I don't remember. Oh, the shower. Not a Fanimation product. Men's room, women's room. I think this is the warehouse break room. Let's find out. Yep, I've never been back here before. I got a grill. I got a couple of these little wall mount animations. I don't know what they're called. Fan of the turn. I don't know what they do with that. Low. It's got a quiet low. Off. Yeah, Urban Jet is kind of a loud low. These are great. These are quiet and everything. <laughs> I don't know what this is. National Ceiling Fan Day Awareness Party. Well, that's funny. Here are the offices back here. Was that closed, I think, when I got here? Here's the offices back here. Got one of these two-bladed things here. I don't know what they're called. Uh, the route's right here. Let's try it out. Low. Medium. I don't know what these are called. I swear I've seen the box for them, but... High. Is that high? Hitting high. Doesn't seem very fast for high. Medium and high seem about the same. Maybe the high button is broken. This remote is clearly kind of old. Moves a little bit of air, though. I'm feeling it. It's not a huge amount of air, but it's more than it looks like going at that speed. I don't know who works in this office. I never really have to be back here. And here there's an Enigma. I couldn't figure out how to get it on, so I'm not going to bother trying again. It's probably on FanSync, and I don't have FanSync. And even if I did, I can't use my phone and film with my phone at the same time. This person has a uh, stand fan, but no uh, ceiling fan for them. Okay. So let's uh, go out here. So here are the other can arms. Here is uh, Jansen Station, and I can't remember the guy's name that packs fans. He's got a beard. So let's find the control. There it is. Now, I noticed earlier the forward reverse switch on this is wired backwards. So, I've got it set to got it set to reverse, but it's actually forward. Buggers are noisy. They gotta replace these with ascension. It's low. There's medium low. Medium high. This control, the low speed trim is set much higher than the other two controls. I came in the other day and they were on in reverse and I wondered why they were reversed and now I know. It's because the person who turned them on probably didn't think to look at the direction. They just trusted the control. High. There's literally no reason to reverse them. 
their ceiling height. None. And if they don't believe me, I'll get Tom to tell them. Where's the other one there? I feel the air from them though, they do move some air. Okay, while they're spinning down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reverse them first of all. So here's the fan packing station. Anything that doesn't already come packed or needs to be repacked, they can pack it here. Forklifts, forklifts, many forklifts, all the forklifts. Over here, we'll go look at the paint booth, if you haven't seen the paint booth already. I don't think anything over here has changed since the uh, last video. Oh, there's a wood saw back here. Painting Enigma Blades, painting a Fargo or whatever those things are called. Paint booth. Well, that's cool. I wonder what that's doing back here. <laughs> the last time I came here, I spent a day in this paint booth, and oh boy, did I hate it. It's great to have a paint booth, but that's not how I wanted to spend my day. <clears throat> Another air compressor. Boxes. How are the fans doing? There's the blade from that, uh, Fargo or whatever that desk fan is called that has the unusual blade. There's the cage, so clearly that's what they're working on. Oh, wow. They're doing all kinds of colors there. Looks like that one over there is going to stop first, the one by the uh, packing station. one's going to be first, the one by the paint booth is going to be second, and then the one in the center is going to be third. That first one stopped. Well, these, are, these two are neck and neck, but I think I'm, I'm going to go with my initial prediction. Feels much later than it is. I'm very tired. This has been a lot of work this week, but it's been worth it. I've had a great time. The final project is really cool. If you haven't seen it yet, you'll see it soon. Okay. That one's clearly about to stop. And this one's still going, so I nailed it. I'm going to reverse them, because I'm sure people want to see them in reverse. And then after that, we're going to finish up the tour. We're almost done. We have uh, just one more trip through the warehouse. So forward, low, even though this is technically reverse. Again, the switch is wired wrong. I should go in there and fix it for them, but I'm tired. Man, those things are noisy. We'll just do three speeds. We'll do a medium. And we'll do a high. Well, you can still feel air moving. It's not nearly as much, but you can feel it. Okay, let's see what happens when we reverse them while running.
and off. Okay. All kinds of Fanimation products. Some I recognize, some I don't. They've introduced so many products. And they're not all sold through the same channels either, so... Who knows all what they have. This is uh, where I come to scrounge for parts in the warehouse for my museum project, so you can find a lot of things here. So this is the parts aisle. You can see there's all kinds of random fitters and parts. Canopies and light bulbs and mounting brackets and so dark aisle again. Switch housings. So I've used a lot of these parts in the museum project if I need something I either. If Jansen's here, I always find Jansen because he knows right where everything is. It takes me forever to find it. He can find it in about 30 seconds. So, okay. We've come one complete revolution, as it says on this box, and we're back where we started. So, uh, there's a lot more of animation to see, and a lot of it's changed since the last set of videos, so keep watching.